Hello Alan. Good morning. Good morning Eddie. What's up? One of our safety instrument and functions just caused a spurious trip. I am here in the control room to investigate. I see. What is the safety instrument and function? Is it the same as the safety instrument and system? I know we have some safety PLC things in this plant. Good. I will explain the basics to you in short, because I am busy now. But you can ask the boss to enroll you in the IVSAM Safety Instrument and Systems online course today, where you will learn in detail about all this. Thank you, I will do that. But can you please explain to me what is the safety instrument and function now? That's good, Alan. I will explain in short the rest you can learn in the course. Oh, yes, any plant or piece of equipment that has the potential to cause harm or damage to itself, the environment, or to people needs protective functions. For example, in our plant, there are many pressure vessels. They have safety relief valves that open and relieve the pressure if it goes high. This is known as a protective function. Yes, but those are mechanical systems. Correct. These are mechanical protective functions. Similarly, we also have protective functions that are implemented using instrumentation and control systems. Like for example, if instead of the purely mechanical devices, if we use instruments like pressure sensors and transmitters, to measure the pressure and then open an actuated valve, we will be implementing the same safety function by instruments. Hence they are known as Instrument and Protective Functions or IPF for short. They are also known as Safety Instrument and Functions or SIFS for short. Okay I get it. Our plant like any other plant has both mechanical protective functions as well as safety instrument and functions. Take a look here at this diagram. It shows a typical architecture of a SIF. Did you see the picture of the SIF architecture? Yes, it looks like any other instrument loop. Yes, it is an instrument loop, but one which is used only for implementing safety. I see. What about redundancies, voting logic, and other stuff? Yes, it can have all of those. The one shown here is a simple version with one sensor transmitter, logic solver, and final control element. What is the SIL then? Every SIF will have a certain level of reliability. We call it the safety integrity level or SIL for short. Then what is the safety instrument and system? All the different SIFs in the plant together become a safety instrument and system. Oh I see. You mean the SIS is not just the safety PLC? Correct. The SIS is all these SIFs together. By the way we do not refer to the logic solvers as safety PLCs. We call them simply, safety logic solvers. Okay. Thank you for the explanation Eddie. I get it now. You're welcome. Be sure to take the Abyssam Safety Instrument and Systems e-learning course today. Everything will be very clear once you do that. What's more you can also get certified as a SIS professional. Yes I will enroll myself today. Great. Let me continue my work now. Sure Eddie, you've been a great help for me. Bye.